Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and on this Travels with Phil, we're going to Crown Point, New York, and we're going to look at the Fort Crown Point, British French Fort St. Frederick, the Champlain Monument and Lighthouse, and the Lake Champlain Bridge, or Champlain. And you see some old maps here of the area. The fort is up at the top of this one up here, or at least the French part, or the British one. You can see here the map of the area, including the bridge. Travels with Phil continues from Crown Point in New York on Lake Champlain. This is a model for the Fort Frederick, which was a French fort in the same area, which was established first. Eventually, they blew it up themselves before uh, when they realized that they wouldn't be able to hold on to it. What I like about this is that uh, I get a lot of visitors, I guess, from Canada because a lot of the displays here are both in French and in English. La Militaire de la Civis, Soldiers and Civilians, La Guerre de l'Association de Autriche, King George's War. Some of the artifacts, cannons. This is a French six pounder. 1756 is when it was made. It's more of the artifacts when they destroyed it. Then over here would be the ones for the British fort. They came in eventually and overtook it, or took it over, your choice. This is a 12 pounder from 1748. It's a model of the fort itself, 27 foot walls. 1759. Took them four years to build what they've got here. Some of the tools that have been recovered. French and Indian War materials here. Map showing you where things happened. Eventually the British beat out the French up in Montreal, which is what starts the peace treaty at the end of the... It was called the Seven Years' War over in Europe. It, was, it wasn't just in North America. There was a great fire here, and then eventually powder magazine blows up, rendering the fort useless. This is an 8-inch howitzer, 1,300 pounds, 1752. And then the Americans come in and seize all the leftover cannons. Eventually the British all but abandon the uh, fort. There are only like nine soldiers left. The uh, British... Uh, arrive and take over the uh, fort, including Benedict Arnold. He was an American, or still on American side that time. And that's the museum. Show you more outside. And you do know I like museums. If you've been watching my videos, this shows you all the various forts and places uh, not too far away. And this is a nice enough uh, museum. Uh, it has a really nice uh, presentation and a very large map uh, that shows things as uh, people and groups moved. All right, the British had a fort Crown Point. That was started in 1750. You can see some of it as you'd approach from the parking lot, and they had some hills around there. So it wasn't all particularly a view. That was the museum on the left-hand side, and this is the, the fort area from basically outside. It's actually from the, right by the parking lot. And you can see there's a moat, there's a, some buildup, there's walls. Uh, again, the walls are fairly tall. And uh, another uh, panorama here. And then we'll come inside and I'll show you the video as I walk inside to the fort area. Travels with Hill continues. This is the British fort at Crown Point. Looking at the moat. Oh, it was dry. This was uh, 12 some odd feet deep. 27 foot ramparts. That's the uh, Lake Champlain Bridge. Champlain, I should say. And as we come through what would have been the normal entrance, which was just a... Uh, small wooden bridge over the dry moat come into where the soldiers would have lived worked hopefully not fought <laughs> at least from their perspective I don't know they might have wanted to fight so you can see the what remains of the buildings there was a chimney fire in here that pretty well rendered uh, well that spread to a gun magazine that caused an enormous explosion British uh, Engineers came in and said basically it's you might as well give up on it. It's uh, useless So they left all their cannon in here guarded by nine soldiers eventually That was in 73 1773 eventually Americans came in captured it caught all the uh, cannons and shot and That provided a lot of resources to the American Revolution 
the British fort at Crown Point, upstate New York, Lake Champlain, Hudson River. And you'll hear me say uh, Champagne several times at Champlain. There's an old photo of the one, the newer photos there. That was left from like 1909. Uh, this is one of the wells that they had uh, there, and they did have wells inside. And a lot of these walls are starting to fall. You saw those bolts there that I was trying to keep the walls from collapsing. And you can see a lot of uh, retro fits here and uh, metal bars, rebar holding the walls together. So it's fairly old. And again, they did a lot of damage when that uh, gun magazine blew up. And there's some more of the support structures keeping it up. And uh, it's a fairly large area here, a fairly uh, wide fort out there. In fact, it was, uh, I was, uh, saw one report that said it was the largest earthen fort in North America at one point. So uh, it's uh, pretty impressive as far as all of that is concerned. And uh, lots of uh, bedrock right out here in the Central Parade Ground comes right up to the surface there. So you can get an idea here of the larger view surrounding area. It's a really nice fort. Now, again, there are two forts here. They don't occupy the same uh, footprint. Uh, the other one is the French Fort saint Frederic or St. Frederick. And uh, that's closer to the water. Here's an old photo and a newer diagram showing the way, basically the way the French had their facility. And uh, it's just slightly closer to the bridge than the British one. Let's go to a video that I shot there at the scene. Travels with Phil continue at Crown Point. This is Fort Frederic. This is the French fort. You can see the museum in the background there and then the British fort up above the hill there. This was here first. And you can see the this would have been the uh, moat, the area within the brick walls here would have been the dry moat and then the inside of the uh, building here in both directions. What I think is sort of interesting, cool if you like, is this was a little slip that ships could come in right there in front of you. I'll zoom in just a little bit. That's the bridge over uh, Lake Champlain. That could, they could come in in that little slip there and get up close to the fort itself. And you can see that here in the map. Bottom right hand corner where it says Lake Champlain. That's the little slip where the ships could come in. So that's the, also the map there for this. But uh, Fort Frederick or Frederick was here before the British. And due to a major problem, they were afraid that uh, they wouldn't be able to defend it. They destroyed it themselves. Yeah, the French built their fort in 1730. The British built theirs in 1750. The Americans took it over in 1777. That's part of the bridge there. That's a really nice uh, a tour guide map there. And there will be a link in the description section below on where you can see a, a PDF of uh, that uh, tour guide map and help you uh, look around a little bit and very nice to have if you're actually out there on the scene again this is on lake uh, champlain and the hudson river on the uh, just across the bridge literally from vermont that's where the uh, bridge goes to is from vermont to uh, new york i would later go back across the bridge uh, as i headed over toward vermont to visit my brother michael and uh, lots of work here uh, on this uh, spot. Again, uh, they intentionally destroyed it according to the records that I've seen. There's the bridge. And um, I, I thought it was an interesting spot. And you see these two different forts, two different uh, designs, basically a lot of similarities between them uh, as forts. You know, uh, there were basic structures and basic functions, but you know, they had their own ideas of what was appropriate. And uh, the French fort had the big, big building in it, and the uh, British had more longer regular sized buildings on a nice view there from the water all right the lake champlain bridge was uh, first built uh, right around 1929 and then the new span was put in in uh, uh, 2011 to replace the old one right there just the arch part and that was literally brought in by crane and that's vermont vermont on the far side on the right hand side here and then the uh, champlain monument and lighthouse the lighthouse was started in 1858 renovated in 1912 and then when they put in the bridge it sort of cut it off so the functioning of the lighthouse became obsolete but it is mainly now used as a monument. Travels with Phil continues. You can see the Lake Champagne Bridge there. Well I am at the lighthouse. The Champlain Lighthouse, Crown Point Lighthouse. Do a full 360 up here. A little windy. Picnic group pick party down there. Rather boisterous, but it looks like they're having fun. Yeah. 
And yes, it is a lighthouse. Not quite as uh, tall as Cape Hatteras, but uh, tall enough if you're tired, <laughs> especially. Lake looks nice. Lots of folks out there. Zoom in just a little bit on the bridge. Try to keep it steady. And that's the Hudson River, Lake Champlain. And then come back over here just a little bit. This is Crown Point that we're on. The fort. I'll zoom in there as well. You see the British flag there. A couple of the stacks, a little bit of the dirt, and the parking lot over there. You can't really see too much of the fort. If the trees were out of the way, you'd be able to see it. But uh, from Lake Champlain, Crown Point, this is Travels with Phil. And you can find all kinds of information on these spots from Wikipedia and all online resources. And here's another video about the monument. Travels with Phil continues. This is the Champlain Monument and Lighthouse. Well, there he is, way up there. Here in Crown Point. The tricentennial Champlain, intrepid navigator, scholarly explorer, Christian pioneer. Hmm. And the earlier video you saw was from up there. A little bit of perspective here in the distance. See how tall it is based on that lady standing there. So not tremendous. Right, the Champlain tall. Monument and Lighthouse, Lake Champlain, Crown Point, New York. And then one final panorama of the Monument Lighthouse itself. Again, this has been Crown Point in New York. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.